don't know how you do it. What? Even in that god-awful business suit, you still manage to look like the sexiest man I have ever seen. Careful, that kind of flattery will get you in a lot of trouble. Is that a promise? Are you serious? Oh, deadly. It could turn out that way, woman. Your hormones are driving me to my knees. Do my ears deceive me? Is Luke Spencer really crying out for mercy? No. No. No? No. No, I just... Not at all, no. I just need a little time to re recharge the old batteries. Oh. You can rest up on this adventure. <laughs> Let me see the pig IDs. Oh, sure. Walter Fine and Josie Crisp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. What happened to Roger and Lulu? Oh, well, I gave them a short vacation. I think they've, you know, they've been seen a little too often lately. Oh. What's the matter? Are you getting attached to those bogus identities? Yes, I am. No, really, I was just starting to get to know Lulu. You know, her strengths and her weaknesses and this Josie person, I, I don't have a clue. Oh, well. So we need disguises, huh? Couldn't hurt. Um, makeup kit is upstairs. Mm. I'll get it. All right. Josie. I'll get that. Hey, what the hell are you up to this time, Spencer? General Well, Corinthos, welcome back to the land of the living. Barely. It got pretty hairy there for a minute. Thanks for the quick thinking. My specialty. And, Mrs. Spencer, I just want to say how sorry I am that you got dragged into this mess. You know, it was very uncool grabbing a pregnant lady. If I had any idea, it wouldn't have ever happen. I know that, Sonny. They didn't hurt you? No. No, they were glad to get rid of her. My wife <laughs> does not make, shall we say, the most docile of people to kidnap. Well, I hope you gave them hell. <laughs> oh, I did my best. And thank you for helping my husband find me. Well, that's the least I can do. Where does that leave you with the old cell rat? Okay, for now. What's going on here? Nothing. I recognize a Fed imitation suit when I see one, Spencer, and I know your little personality quirks. You're not going to let this go without some kind of retaliation, whether it's ill-advised or not. Stay out of it. Luke. You hey, know, look, I tried Sonny. To... Oh, we were doing so well here, weren't we? You know, what I'm going to say to you, you should listen closely to, and I'm sure it has a familiar ring. Stay out of it. Stay out of it. Stay out of it. Nothing for you to worry about. Why do I even bother? I don't know. Why do well, you? Well, I don't know. You, you tell me. Sonny, Luke is right. Given your current status with Frank Smith, the less you know here, the better. See? I'm doing you a favor. You're going to? I am. Well, I guess I don't have to tell you guys to uh, be careful. We will. Okay. Wish you luck. Thanks a lot. Talk to you later. See you later. What's that? You don't have to go along. I could do this on my own. Oh, no. I'm going to have a very active role in getting these people out of our lives before this baby comes into the world. Right? Ooh. Is your battery recharged? I think so. Good morning, Walter Fine, Josie Crisp, with the Federal Organized Crime Task 
force. You are Mr. Bowles. That's right. Well, Mr. Bowles, the party's over. The circus left town, and you're standing in the middle of a whole heap of elephant droppings. What seems to be the problem? You've heard of the Frank Smith case? Prison break, just outside town. Oh, yes, I I'm familiar with it. Well, it seems that once said Smith had departed for parts unknown, he was able to set up an 800 number through this office. How is that possible, Mr. Bowles? I, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, but it goes without saying, I I'll do whatever I can to assist your investigation. We're awfully happy to hear that, aren't we, Miss Crisp? That'll make our job a lot easier. Well, well, what can I do? This is the number. You can, of course, access the billing information. Easy. <clears throat> Well, you're right. There, there's something definitely wrong. This account bypasses all the established reporting sequences. We'll need a printout of all the pertinent information relative to that number. Oh, piece of cake. I, I hope you understand that I, I have no idea how this happened. Are you saying that you don't have clearance to set up this account? Well, yes, I, I do. Uh, but, but I'm not the only one. There's, uh, there's uh, Mr. Finnegan. He, he has the same access. You know, come to think of it, he's been acting kind of squirrely lately. Um, if you want to take him over to headquarters for questioning, I, I could call him. And... No, 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 that will not be necessary. We are just pending the investigation at the moment. And, of course, we don't have local jurisdiction as of yet. So we will just take this information back to our headquarters with us and... Uh... Thank you very much. Analyze it. Someone will be in touch with you. Oh, uh, shouldn't there be some kind of form? No uh, form necessary, Mr. Bowles. No form. Nothing to sign. Uh, this will look awfully good on your dossier. Don't worry. Got it. Got it. What? San Joaquin. Check the map. Ah, oh, here it is. It's right by the Cayman Islands. Uh huh. No extradition treaty. Banking privileges, balmy breezes. Yeah, figures. Can you tell where he's calling from? San Joaquin K International. That's an upgrade from the slammer, wouldn't you say? We did good. We did great. <laughs> and Bowles was so overwhelmed, he didn't even question the notion of a pregnant fan. Well, that's because you had him petrified from the moment you walked in. Well, baby, are you ready to take this act on the road? Oh, I've always wanted to see the Cayman Islands. Okay, first we find Frank, and then I'll take you wherever you want to go. How's your battery doing? It's all recharged. Want to try it out? Oh, what? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 